Zotero is a free, easy to use tool to help you collect, organize, cite, and share your research sources. Zotero works well with Chrome, Safari, and Firefox web browsers, but works best with Firefox. You will need to download one of these before installing Zotero. To download Zotero, go to zotero.org, then click Download Now. Firefox users can choose Zotero 4.0 for Firefox to install it within your browser window. After downloading that, Firefox users should choose Plugin for Word or LibreOffice. Then click the Word plugin that corresponds with your computer and word processor. Chrome and Safari users will need to click the Zotero 4.0 option on the right, followed by the appropriate browser extension below that. After downloading Zotero, you can open it within Firefox or as a standalone program for Chrome and Safari users. Now, let's create a folder by clicking the top left icon and name it something meaningful. Next, go to your web browser and open up a resource you want to save. We'll search Life's Meaning. From this screen, Firefox users should see an icon immediately to the right of the Z in their Firefox browser. Chrome users should see a colored icon in their address bar, and Safari users should have a grayed out icon at the top left. Click your icon once, and you should see the bibliographic information appear in your Zotero folder. You can repeat this process with journal articles, websites, videos, and many other resources. And if you ever notice an error in the information, simply click into the record and change it on the spot. Also, if a resource does not have an icon to save to Zotero, you can easily create the record from scratch by clicking the plus circle selecting your format, and entering the data on the right window pane. After collecting your resources, you can create a simple bibliography by selecting, clicking, and dragging them to your document. In order to choose your citation style output, click the gear, preferences, export, then choose your style from the list. Or, if your style is not on the list, select Cite, Styles, Get Additional Styles, and find your style here. Additionally, after you've installed both parts of the Zotero download, you should have new Zotero icons appear in Microsoft Word. On a PC, they will be under the Add-ins or Zotero ribbon. These allow you to interact directly with your resources while writing your paper, as long as both Word and Zotero are open simultaneously. For instance, if you want to cite a source in your paper, Put your cursor where the in-text citation should go, then click the first Zotero icon, select your citation style, and search for your item. When you find it, you can hit enter, and you have your in-text citation. Let's do that again. Click the first icon. This time we'll click the Z to show our library. We'll find our resource, and we can enter our page number. And again, there it is in APA format, or whatever format you choose. If you notice that your in-text citation needs to be edited, you could click the second Zotero icon to edit after you place your cursor in the citation. Here I'll hit space 33 for my page number. When you're ready to add a bibliography, put your cursor where you want it to go, and click the third Zotero icon. You will notice it pulled the two in-text citations into the reference list and alphabetized them. If you notice an error in your citation, you can fix it directly within Zotero. And then click the refresh icon to watch the changes happen in Word. Thank you for your time. For more information on using Zotero effectively, go to library.cornerstone.edu, click FAQ, and then select How do I use Zotero.